The town of Wagner, South Carolina, trying to deal with feral cats. Town leaders approved new rules to address the issue tonight. Rules that were met with opposition. Here's News Channel 6's Wes Cooper. A new ordinance here in Wagner would make it illegal for anyone to provide a refuge or to create housing for feral cats. Now there are a lot of rules in this ordinance that many people say are inhumane, but the town's government says this ordinance is to preserve public safety. Connie Jeffcoat has a big heart for her town's felines. I rescued my first animal when I was in the second grade. My father and mother were both uh, animal lovers and taught me to just to be compassionate. But under a new ordinance, the Wagner Town Council approved Monday. Jeffcoat says it's going to get harder to help feral cats. Places severe responsibilities and penalties upon anyone who feeds the cats. So if you can't feed them, you can't bait the trap. And you can't bait the trap, you can't catch them. For years, Jeffcoat says she has been practicing the trap neuter release policy. It was adopted by Aiken County in 2016. Some of them are friendly, they're fully vetted, they're not reproducing. I don't see that they do any harm at all. But Wagner leaders say they have received many complaints about the wildcats. A cat will not starve if you leave him on his own and use his predatory ways to find his own food. Now with the ordinance, it's against the law for anyone or an organization to provide a shelter for the feral cats. However, if you do and are feeding them, the haven must be many yards away from businesses, schools, or public facilities in Wagner's town limits. I really don't think we have a feral cat problem, but we do need a plan, and I understand that. We need a plan. We need a good plan. We need to TNR. We need to do what the county has made available for us. It's free. We don't, it won't cost us anything to participate in that. Since the original ordinance was amended, there will be a third reading for this feral cat ordinance. It would go into effect on the first Monday of December. In Wagner, West Cooper, WJBF News Channel 6.